Scoliosis is a curvature of a spine. If you look straight onto a child um, and straight onto the child's back, you'll realize that it's tilting to the side. Scoliosis also rotates the spine. There's different types of scoliosis, idiopathic scoliosis. Uh, children with neuromuscular conditions such as cerebral palsy. Uh, other types of scoliosis include congenital scoliosis, I'm often asked what are the consequences of scoliosis. Obviously there's the cosmetic portion of it. A child can present with uh, a side bending curve to the spine, an elevated shoulder, maybe an elevated pelvis, and again that prominence either in, a, in the uh, upper back or lower back that's more obviously seen on forward bending. Uh, there are other consequences with uh, this curve. Um, for one thing that they can actually cause compression on the lungs or cardiac structures if they become very severe. The prognosis or progression um, is based on how old the child is, uh, chronologically as, as well as physically, and how severe the curve is. So a child who's quite young, 11 or 12, with a severe curve, 40 degrees, is more likely to progress than someone who's, say, 17 or 18 and has a uh, 10 or 15 degree curve. Scoliosis has various types of treatment. What appears to be most helpful is bracing. Other options include observation or surgery. There have been many surgical advancements in the treatment of scoliosis. One is our instrumentation. Uh, the second uh, advancement I would, I would feel is regarding technique. And the last point would be safety. What makes St. Joseph Children's Hospital Scoliosis Center a unique center is that it provide specialty services in all aspects of pediatric to provide the child a comprehensive care. Hi, my name is David Simbanis. I'm a pediatric orthopedic scoliosis surgeon here at St. Joseph Children's Hospital. My advanced training is not only in spinal reconstructive surgery, but with uh, pediatric orthopedic conditions, including scoliosis.